name is Matilda. I'm presenting for the child, child education class for Jefferson State Community College. Uh, the person I chose today was Loris Malaguzzi. He's an Italian educator who was born in 19, 1920 Italy. He grew up under the fascist rule in Italy and his father encouraged him to get an education um, teaching children, which he chose. And he de ended up de dedicating most of his life to improving the education for children and creating the Reggio Emilia um, approach. He, after World War II in 1945, he ended up building a couple schools in a small county near Reggio Emilia. He, that ended up snowballing and he built a couple schools, but there ended up being many schools in the area and it really helped further education for children, specifically in that area and surrounding areas, which was a really cool thing he did. In 1963, the municipality of Reg Reggio Emilia began to organize a network of educational services for kindergartners, so they opened up many schools throughout Italy and in Reggio Emilia to test Loris Malaguzzi's theories in education and to have better develop the Reggio Emilia method. He was a consultant for the Italian ministry and he founded the National Group of Nursery and Infancy. I wouldn't, I couldn't say that in Italian, but <laughs> he um, produced a lot of uh, research in that era and in, I think he, wor he worked there until 1980 and he researched in that organization for maybe, I think, 40 years, which was really cool. And he worked with children um, who had disabilities. He worked with infants. He worked with young toddlers. In 1992, Malaguzzi and the Reggio Emilia approach received the 1922 Lego Award in Denmark. And in 1993, he also received the Cole Award in Chicago, which is a really big deal in education. In 1950, he established the Municipal Psycho... Theological Center, um, which is where he practices research since the 1970s. Um, over here, I have a little bit about the Reggio Emilia method. It is a way of teaching, kind of like Montessori. Uh, teachers think of the kids independently. Like, I read a research paper on how to implicate the Reggio Emilia method in your classroom, and the writer encouraged the teacher to think of their children completely differently. You have to teach you have to think of the child as their own human, you respect their independence, you respect their drive and what they what they want to do, not what you want to do. Uh, Reggio Emilia holds the belief that children and adults um, co construct their knowledge. So kids learn through parents and parents learn through kids. Parents learn how the kids learn by watching the children, and you have to be involved with the children in order to teach them correctly. The child has a desire to connect with others, to engage learning, and to enter a relationship with the, their environment. Children are naturally curious, children are naturally driven to understand their world, so the Reggio Emilia really focuses on that and really brings that out in children. Educators should focus on the process of folios, not portfolios. They focus on what the child learned and how they learned, rather than specifically the material they learned. Like, in, in education in America, we take tests. Tests are a very good way to build up memory, but they're not a great way to apply critical thinking skills and practical knowledge. Reggie and Amelia likes to focus on that, and instead of taking tests, they might do more of a demonstration of how they learned what they did. The school takes on a community-like approach, and this is really important in Reggio Emilia, I think specifically in Italy, there is a huge community around the school, and there's a huge community around teaching and children, and Reggio Emilia really promotes that and really wants the community to take a hands-on approach to raising children and teaching children. Um, I have a couple quotes from Reggio um, Loris Malaguzzi, um, one that I found that I put on the poster board is, the child has a hundred languages and then a hundred more, but they steal 99. The school and the culture separate the head from the body. They tell the child to think without their hands and to do and make without their head. 
to listen and not to speak, to understand without joy, to feel in awe only at Easter and Christmas. The child to child discover the world that is already there. And this is, I think this is a really great encompassing of the Reggio Emilia method, because like what I talked about with what it is, they, Reggio Emilia really promotes and encourages the child to learn about the world in what, more ways than one. And then I also read another one that I really liked. Um, he's a really good writer. I like a lot of his writing. Um, Learning and teaching should not stand on the opposite banks. Instead, they should embark together on a journey and down the water. Through an active reciprocal exchange, teaching can strengthen learning and how to learn. I think that's really important for us to remember as possible teachers. Um, teaching is not a job. It's a way of learning and it's a way of encouraging a child to grow. And teaching should encourage and should work with learning instead of standing on opposite sides of the banks. So yeah, that's a little bit about Loris Malaguzzi. I hope you have a lovely day, Miss Shackelford, and thank you.